now. It's like 20 past six in the morning. Yeah. So what, what are we doing? We have the early bus, don't we? We're going to take the early bus to Dubrovnik. The reason why we're getting the bus is because the catamaran was cancelled because the weather isn't great, but it's not that bad right now, is it? But there is only one bus and it's at 6.45 <laughs> in the morning. It's pretty <laughs> I feel quite awake, do you? So this is it. This is the only bus that goes to Dubrovnik. So we went to the bus, it was looking good. The bus was there. But then we went to buy the tickets and they said that we couldn't go today. And they said that it was because that the bus went on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. And then they said it was something to do with coronavirus. And so now we're sitting here in a cafe which isn't actually open yet. And we're just we trying to this early figure out <laughs> what to do. Silly little hillbilly towns don't 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 go to them we might have to get a taxi which might be quite expensive um we've already got a booking in dubrovnik which we've paid for and it's a bit of a nightmare really so here we are just waiting to get onto this ferry over here it's going to go across the water over to the mainland so that we can get to Dubrovnik. And there he is. Here we are in a, in a taxi, which is not what we expected this morning, is it? Look at all these mountains over there. It's crazy. Crazy, crazy. Crazy times. Yeah, we're getting on the ferry. <laughs> Cool, right? Yeah. This is This is more like it. This is a better ferry. Yay! This is the car ferry. A tiny little town where we just were, and we walked around it in about one hour, and we had two whole days. I wonder if you can go up another level. Ah, Zabrin Gen Prista Neza Postlanima. Yeah. That's one hell of a mountain, isn't it? Really nice. The water over there is so blue. Yeah, close. you can, you can see it. So nice. Miami. <laughs> this is the Miami of Croatia. This is our taxi driver. What's your name? Nicola. Nicola. Cool. Ora Beach, Miami Ora Beach. Beach. So we've arrived in Dubrovnik. Karina likes to do a, a quick video because you know it's going to get messed up, right? <laughs> it's us, after all. First before we mess it up. Not too much, by the way. We're just a little bit messy sometimes, but wow, this is so... It's a nice bathroom. Really, really nice. Right in the centre, by the way, of uh, Dubrovnik, in the old town. Yeah, we're... There's, there won't be a view, really. No, because, not really. Um, yeah, we're, we're right in the alleyways, aren't we? Yeah. What about from the bedroom? Let's see if a view. I think that goes out onto that side street out there. Hi. How many there are? What's happening? They're literally flying into us. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> Welcome to Dubrovnik. <laughs> it's 
starting. We're here, finally, on an actual sunny day. We got here and it was like, oh my God, the city is beautiful. And then it just rained and the weather forecast was like rain, 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 non-stop. Should have so seen it coming, really. What we decided to do was stay an extra day so that we could um, have a proper exploring day in the sun. And luckily yeah. there was like a one day window of no rain, which is today. So it's a really beautiful day and we're gonna explore. And I'm gonna be really nerdy and tell you guys all the locations um, that we're passing through. So for example, this first one here, this is called Graddock Park. And that's where the Red Wedding was filmed. Oh, in by Game the way, of Thrones. it's all about Game of Thrones. <laughs> if you didn't know where we are, Dubrovnik is, is King's Landing. It's the real King's Landing in Game of Thrones. So we're going to look at all the locations that you'll notice from the series. And this is the first one. That's where the Red Wedding was filmed, just there. And so. can I also say that if you didn't watch Game of Thrones, then you can, just, still beautiful. You can just enjoy the views because yeah. it's so nice. And yep. you can see why they would have filmed something here because it's, yeah, it's beautiful. It's like a fairy tale, isn't it? Mm. Let's go show the view of the Red Keep next, yeah? So pretty. It was a good moment in Game of Thrones because it was where Joffrey died. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, it's a good, good Game of Thrones memory. Just don't look down. Oh, my God. <laughs> look, at that, look at that blue water over there. Yeah, it's really nice. And what's that one, babe? This is uh, the Red Keep. It's just in Game of Thrones, they use a lot of CGI. So it's much taller, the Red Keep, you know, Xerxes, Xerxes Palace. So in real life, that's just like, um, just like a part of it. Great view of Dubrovnik. You can see the city walls there, look. That's the old town. We're gonna walk over there later, aren't we? Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna do a full circuit. <laughs> nice, right? Really nice view. Different Darver. Different Darver. Up there it says Different Darver. Different Darver. Where are we then? Just think of that very last episode where Jon Snow said goodbye to Arya and she was sailed off. This is the pier. Very, very clear water again. And of course there's the Red Keep. Right there. Yep. So we're right underneath it. And we're gonna walk up, we're gonna walk up those steps up there to go all the way up. Beautiful, beautiful view. Come on, and here we have the young Jonathan Bloxham tying his shoe. Here he stands next to the Red Keep, which you can't see because of those trees there. He's ending it all. He's had enough. Oh no, he's changed his mind. There he goes, down to the green door. Is anyone home? We don't know. He's thinking about going down those steps there. Oh, a little jump. Off he goes, down to the brown door. He likes it there. What's that? All right. He has requested a photograph. Off he goes. He's had enough. Back up to the green door. Are you enjoying that? It's a Game of Thrones playground, he says. been up a fair few hundred steps. Uh, you can't, wow, that's nice. Um, and it's still Literally quite, climbing the red key. yes. And as you can tell, I'm very out of breath, but we're getting there. Look at that, it's so nice. Wow. It's so blue. Oh my God. And here we have the Game of Thrones fan has finally reached the top of the Red Keep. Oh, and we can go in. He's very excited. Look at that. Oh my God. 
I can't believe it. Pretty special. I've just, we've just been standing here for about 10 minutes just looking this at this. It's only one location, but we're just mesmerized, aren't we? It's just so nice. This is the most beautiful uh, location I've ever been to. And that is coming from the man who has lived in 14 countries and been around the world quite a lot. Is it 15 now? Yeah, I always thought for architecture, I thought you couldn't really get much more impressive than um, Bukhara in Uzbekistan. But this is way more impressive. Like, that is amazing. There's just so much history with it as well, isn't there? There's yeah. just, like, that whole wall is just so interesting. Hello. <laughs> Shall I make a wish? Go on. window. Really cute. Oh, we are at the very top. We're gonna walk all the way around. Just there behind you, uh, in front of you, that's another filming location. But I think um, they would film scenes there to have the Red Keep in the background. And these are the city walls. I think later on we're going to walk all the way around the city walls. I want to get as close as I can to that location. I just want to go and have a look at And Johnny's there. Yeah. Yes, no, don't recommend. I really am like a kid today. You know, because I'm... I was just such a fan of Game of Thrones. I was really addicted to it. I had the Game of Thrones fever. So this place is like a playground for me. Yeah, this is about the closest that you can get to this location. See, people always say, you know, you should come here in the right season. And they're right. But if we had, if we hadn't, if we, sorry, if we had come here in the right season, yeah. we wouldn't have got this nice Christmas tree. There's so few tourists and you can just, you know, explore it in a much easier, calmer way because you're not, you know, trying to get through loads of people. Mm. Should we go through here? Yeah, this is Pile Gate, by the way. Pile Gate. Look at me! I'm in all the ball balls! <laughs> there I am! <laughs> Have you ever been in a Christmas ball ball before? No, this is the first time I've been in a... <laughs> Christmas ball ball quite like this because look at the size of it. Wow. wow! This is a Christmas tree of us. <laughs> I really love nice it. Really nice idea, isn't it? Yeah. It's like loads of pictures of us everywhere. So, the Game of Thrones fan of the year. Tell us, where are we? Oh, it's Powell Gates, which just saw us walk through that bit a minute ago. But then here, you can imagine King Joffrey surrounded by his king's guard, and all the people were up here, all the peasants who hated him, of course. So this is actually the main street in Dubrovnik Old Town, right? This is so cute down here, isn't it? Yeah. It's, you know when you go to a city and you just get a really, really nice vibe about it, like there's something about it. Yeah. We haven't really got the same thing in Split or in anywhere else that we've been in Croatia so far, but it's We're like kicking we, ourselves now, aren't we? Because, yeah. you know, we wish we'd come here instead of Dubrovnik. Yeah, because it's Instead like, of Split, sorry. It's kind of like the Rome of Italy. I suppose, you know. The Rome of Italy. 
the Rome of Italy. Oh, I thought you meant the Rome of Croatia. Oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> I did. I meant it's it's like the Rome of Croatia or yeah. the London of the UK or you know The London of Croatia. <laughs> what are you saying? I'm trying to say it's got the same vibe as when you go to Rome and you think, oh my God, and you don't get that anywhere else in the same way. In yeah, but Italy. like, okay, in Romania, yeah, you got Bucharest and people say, oh, it's like the Paris of Romania. They don't say, oh, it's like the Paris of France, do they? Because you know the Paris of France, it's just Paris. <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> anyway, this location here, um, well, it was part of um, Xerxes' walk of shame. She definitely came up this street in, in one of the locations. Do you remember that? The shame scene? Yep, I remember. It's a really, really cute little street there. It is cute, because if you stand right here, you get dripped on by the people's clothes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, so another Game of Thrones location here. This is, yeah. um, if you remember, Littlefinger. Uh, oh, a cat, of course. It's Croatia. There are always cats. The character Littlefinger, he had a brothel, and this is sort of the back street area of his yeah. brothel. You can see shots of Tyrion Lannister walking down here. Uh, yeah, really cool to be here. <laughs>